over 40 billion sachets every year go out from Unilever, which is huge. Sachet is a brilliant innovation. It's a great mechanism and a packaging which allows us to pack our quality products and make it reachable and affordable to every consumer in every corner of the country. Not all can afford large bottles and large formats because it's a huge price to pay. This makes it possible to be able to access and buy the product at almost half a euro cent. And because of it being multi-layer, it's difficult to recycle. And because there are no proper systems in place to segregate waste at source or where do you put it, so everything just goes straight into the landfill. The biggest problem is that there is actually no incentive of collecting the sachet. So the incentive will only come if we put economically sustainable model by which we can create value of the sachet which is getting collected. There was a task force which was set up in 2010. The task force looked around for various solutions for recycling the sachet waste and we hit upon uh, the solution which is now called paralysis. Paralysis is a process by which you heat plastic laminates in general and sachets in particular to produce fuel oil and recover almost about 60% of the energy. What you see here is actually basically all the sachets that we receive from Unilever and uh, we take these sachets and we process it in our plant. The plastic is pushed into the reactor where it becomes into molten state and from molten to vapor state and the vapors are condensed and taken to the storage tank. Currently, the oil is being purchased by Unilever and uh, they have found it well accepted. In terms of the technical process, there are almost infinite opportunities because this can process any single type of plastic. It's a step in the right direction. We have enough confidence on the process that it can be scaled up. Uh, I think the big challenges lie in the collection model. We are not in the business of collection of waste. We are in the business of providing technical solution to how to synthesize the waste. And I think that's where we are seeking partnership with, with governments and NGOs and like-minded people.